Well, thank you for joining me for this sixth journey step, where we will look at how God designs our circumstances to expand our comfort zones. Uh, back in the early 1990s, I began to uh, explore the world of DOS, which stands for Disk Operating System, and I even bought some books on uh, computer basic programming. I even tried marketing myself as a, an expert to help people figure out how to use their brand new computers. But after realizing that I only had one uh, customer, that I probably wasn't cut out to be that much of a computer geek. Um, Eventually, email came along, as well as uh, the World Wide Web. Well, career-wise, I transitioned out of being in the government affairs industry to selling business phone systems. Now, these phone systems cost anywhere between a few thousand dollars and a few hundred thousand dollars. One of the things that I learned was that telephone systems were essentially very specialized computers. And after a particular congressional act that deregulated the telecommunications industry in 1996, there was a flood of effort to create computer software programs that went along with the, the phone systems. They called that CTI, Computer Telephony Integration. Well, my job was to help business owners figure out how to use all this new technology. Now, the typical business owner simply saw plastic connected by wires to do what they'd always done. My job was to help them see how buying a new phone system from me could help them become more efficient, to increase their security, and help them communicate better with their customers. And so I did three things. First, I wrote a book called Buying Technology, understanding what you need and why you need it. And I decided that to market it, I needed to build a website. But I didn't know how to build a website, so I bought some more books and taught myself something called HTML, which stands for Hypertext Markup Language. And so uh, these are some things I did. I even created a web page on a little mini CD that I used sort of like a, a uh, a business card that I would then give to businesses who could then stick it into their computer uh, CD slots and learn about what it was I was selling. Now you might be saying, David, what does that have to do with me? Well, you see, God was teaching me two things about myself. First, I hated sales. But second, I loved teaching people how they could use technology to do things. And so Deuteronomy 29.29 29 says that the secret things belong to the Lord our God, but the things revealed belong to us and to our sons forever, that we may observe all the words of the law. You see, in my high-tech journey to a LinkedIn world, God was forcing me to explore new things. Um, I had hated studying foreign languages in high school and college, but I discovered that I could see an application for learning HTML, and so I learned the language that the Internet is based on. You see, I believe that God knows and sees things in our future, and He was forcing me to get out of my comfort zone to be prepared for the things that He had in store for me. The art of selling in a high-pressure, high-tech business world is something that I learned. I also learned the language of the World Wide Web. What about you? How has God forced you to get out of your comfort zone? Corporate downsizing can force us to learn new skills. Only God knows the secret things of our future personal journeys. You see, I believe that God creates circumstances. And uh, based on our attitudes, we then respond with various ad uh, actions. Do we look forward to the new opportunities He has for us? Or do we face these circumstances with a negative attitude, grumbling, never seeing the positive things that might come from our personal journey? Well, I hope this, that my talk today has led you to think about thoughts that you might want to share on my Facebook page. Until next time, thanks so much, and God bless.